MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the World Series between the New York Yankees and the San Francisco Giants. Leading off for the Yankees, center fielder, number 11, Greg Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. High and deep to straightaway right. McCutcheon going back at the track. The wall up into the arcade and out of here. So it's a solo shot on the very first pitch of the ball game. His first homer so far in the series as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. You talk about setting a tone for your team offensively. Everyone's allowed to relax now, pass the baton mentality, and if that's any indication where these next nine innings are going, buckle up, fans. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Drilled to the left side, and that gets through for a one out base hit. This is the cat and mouse of baseball right here. Batter versus pitcher. You fight so hard as an offensive player to get count leverage. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. Check out the batting averages in those counts. And then check out Stepping into the box, Gary Sanchez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. And Judge is off and running. Liner toward right center. In there, a base hit. Judge rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag, and he's in there. And they now lead by two. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already 2 nothing in the early going, and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Giants down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Stepping in Brett Gardner. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. But it bangs off of archway number one. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with the double. First pitch coming. Here it is. Out into right center. Well hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 3 nothing game. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Boy, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box. And he had an this idea. This is for ball one. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1-0 is hit very well to right. This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His first homer here in the series, and that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Yeah. 
See what that means to the boys in the dugout. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Sonny Gray. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Popped him up. Coming on is McCutcheon, but he's not going to get to it in time. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. I can't believe this guy hasn't been smiling all the way down to first base for an American League pitcher who doesn't get a chance to work on this much. Maybe takes BP a couple times. The 1 0 home. And there he goes towards second. Q shot here out towards short. And that'll get down for a base hit. The relay not in time and he's in there with the doubles. Wow how quickly things can turn around in this game. He gets the first two outs of the inning and he looks like he's on cruise control thinking that he'll get out of the inning without even breaking a sweat. But then a single and a double. Now he's stuck with him. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point. Though. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And splash down. It's into McCovey Cove. A solo home run for Joe Panic. His first homer so far in the series. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's five to one. Yeah, they have everything to lose in this game, but it's obvious they have zero quit in them. They're going to battle until the last out, and with that homer, they're that much closer to prolonging. This He'll try again, one, two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Belted high in the air out to left. Back goes Pence to the track, to the wall. Into the bleachers and gone. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. His first homer here in the series, and it's now a six to one ball game. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 6-1 to one in favor of New York. Gray into his motion. Here it is on 2-2. Two and two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Now the one and one pitch. This is line to left. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So we'll go at least one at bat deeper into the top of the sixth after that two out success. He came to play today, not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but I popped him up. Perias ranging into shallow right. He's there and records the first down. Zero. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. No. Standing in opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. 
throw on to Walker at first and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. They trail six to one. Base hit into right center. Also that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Coming in and looking for more, Gary Sanchez. Single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And it's gone into the bleachers. Two run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. His second home run of the game, as this is now a seven run ball game. Runners on base, and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is on his horse. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the Number inning. Ready on one and two. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat. And I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Giants down in order. It's still an eight to one ball game. Down. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher and he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Man coming out of the late rounds you have to grind for everything nothing is given to you and this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. So it was a strikeout swinging. Brandon Crawford becomes out number two this inning. What's your take on all the strikes? First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now batting. The 1 0 home. Hit in the air out to right. Hicks moves over. Two down. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last strike here for the Giants. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And fellas when you're on the big stage here at the World Series you want to make sure you bring the A game and this man right here certainly did he's our tops player of the game.
And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. to one is the final tonight. New York take a commanding three nothing lead in this World Series. Sonny Gray earns the victory on the mound. Jeff Samarja permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian. We're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night.